Hey guys, what's crack? Got a rental tool here. Um, yeah, it pretty much says what I'm up to. Okay. Now, if this video is for you guys to figure out how to take this off and you want to save it, this ain't the video for you. But for everybody else that wants to know how to get these rusted things that you cannot get these tools on it, which I'm not too sure if I can or not, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. Yep. Finally figured out the van problem. Why there was no AC. So I had a brand new, brand new set. Okay. Get guys down here so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. So this clutch is destroyed. I had a weird feeling it was destroyed when the compressor hit the ground. When this hit the ground. Okay. Guys, see. I'm not saving this. We gotta get that 13 off. Ratchet down there. Yes, and by the way, guys, I'm not fixing this AC for myself. I'm fixing it for my mom. She's over 60 years old. I think it's this temperature, this heat wave that we have occasionally, does not plan off to her too well. Yes, air tools would be nice right now. That's why I'm fixing this. Mm -hmm. I know how to hold it. It's ready to be too big. Saving it. Like I said, don't watch it. I need more lever, leverage.
You guys just love it. How big ratchets make everything just feel like it, they're not on tight. They say give you a give you give you leverage you can move the world. They weren't kidding about it. And like I said, if you guys are saving this, say trying to save your compressor, uh, clutch assembly, wrong video. Let's see if the tool works. It'd be nice, but a weird feeling it won't work. I don't think there's threads left. Okay. Come to the fun part. Couple crowbars. Let's see. I get guys in down the lower.
Let's see if you're saving it. Wrong big video. Now you hit the belt off. Okay, let's do this. I think it was time to replace. Okay, I may have a puller that's gonna work. If not, I'm gonna have to drop the AC clutch. This small one should fit in here. I hope. It shouldn't pull hard. My famous last words too. That does. I doubt that's 14. 13, I mean. No, it looks like 15.
You know what, guys? That ain't gonna come off right now. I forgot something. Alright, I forgot a snap ring, guys. I'm sitting there wondering why it's falling so hard. Let's go in first, Gary. Let's go by prep.
Hey guys, what's cracking, lacking boys? The ones that have made it to the end of the video, give you guys a pat on the back. Got a little treat coming. Yeah, you guys are not seeing something. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Have you guys figured out what's coming? Hmm. Let me, let me let me just stand back and sh show you guys the chaos mess. All right. Can't figure this out yet. Yep. We're gonna finish up what we what I started over two years ago. And it's been two years since I worked on this garage. Want to finish up building this wall? Want to fix this? Uh, you guys can't really see, I don't have light, but we're going to fix this loss up. Um, I think we're also going to fix this, I don't know. I know we're going to go through this later, as soon as we get this. Everything up here has got to come out. Hey, there's a Grinch! There's a Grinch. All that's coming up here too. So yeah, if you guys stay to the end, that's what I've been up to guys. Um, let me get back down from up here. Yes, what I'm standing on, uh, like I said in a previous video, whoops, I wasn't in much of a uh, mood to do anything last year. So, what have, what have I been trying to do for this garage? Well, got a scaffold. Uh, it's a scaffold bench system. This is a 4-in-1. I paid just under 300 bucks for that. I think it's like 250 240 250 for this it is now listed for almost six hundred dollars on home depot's website uh, another thing is got a helping hand here the drywall panel hoist okay now a lot of you guys probably wonder why the toolbox is moved from over here yeah you guys probably didn't realize the toolbox moved well we need we have a 4x4 going on this side and we need a 4x4 here there's a 4 inch I beam is going to go drop from here down 4x4 is going to support it we got to lift this loss up this loss is sagged um, I knew it was going to happen I don't know how well the camera, this uh, GoPro is going to see it but this loss dips in the center so what our plan is well, and we're also got to fix that too we're in a four inch, four, just shy of eight foot. Want to I beam, push the I beam up to support this. That's why everything's moved around. Yeah. So, further ado, guys, I'm hoping that that I beam's not over two, uh, over 120. But yeah, it's going right between that that joist. It's going to support that loss, keep that loss from bowing. Because all that's got to go up there. Yep, I'm going to finally finish her up. I am done trying to look for tools. Here's most of the tools I found. <laughs> Here's some more tools I found. And more tools I found. All because we couldn't access that toolbox when it was against that wall. I mean, everything got buried over here. And I also got this finally anchored. Um, so yeah. Look forward to a garage update slash build, I guess. I don't know what I'll be up to. So, might bring you guys along uh, when I'm building that. I don't know. I know that we're going to do it throughout the week. I have to count the 2x4s. So, I need 2x4s. I need an I-beam. I need another sheet of plywood. And some more insulation. And some more plastic. Yep. Basically what I need. And, Yeah. So yeah, I just basically last year, not in the mood to do anything, and I was collecting tools. I needed a new one of these. Yep, that little guy is going to come in handy now. And I need a plywood uh, hoist. That's the helping hands, I call it. They can do more than just drywall. Believe me, you guys might see it. What that thing is actually going to be doing. So, yeah. I want to finish this up. Um... I appreciate all the help I've had just last year with one of these 
whatever years. <clears throat> I'm hoping by the end of the year have this closed in. Um, that ain't never going to happen. I'm hoping to have the 2x4s for this so I can finish that, but that never happened. It's 30 bucks for one sheet of plywood that I need. I'm looking at probably $100 just for a little bit of material I need. Yeah. So, hopefully I'll get there, guys. Just want to do a little update for you guys. What has been going behind scene scenes. Yes, videos are behind. Alright. Catch you guys later, then. Have fun. And have, a, have fun and peace out, man. Tiny, this is going to be an interesting build. Alright, catch you guys later.